and welcome back to Roy on Rescue. I want to address a question that has come in not just once but multiple times in regards to checking for the carotid pulse on one side and then the other instead of actually switching your position around from one side of the patient to the other side of the patient before checking for the pulse. The thought is, is that if we check for a carotid pulse on each side without moving positions, we run the risk of actually losing our balance and potentially crushing the person's trachea or actually pressing too hard on both of the, trach uh, of the carotid arteries. This belief has actually come from uh, a curriculum that's been circulating a long time. And I, I really believe that it was more set to address lay people who do not have good clinical um, expertise. Um, it, it, could, it could be a number of reasons why it found its way into the actual curriculum. But in all of my years of EMS, I've never seen anybody crush a person's trachea or neck while checking carotid pulses on both sides of the patient's neck without moving from one side to the other of the patient. There was teachings that we should never step over the patient, if at all possible, um, so as to not trip and fall and then cause more harm to the patient. But in regards to actually um, being afraid that we're going to crush the, the trachea or, or hurt them by laying on the neck, that's uh, just, just inaccurate. That, that really is not a problem. Um, so in my training videos, I show that you check for a carotid pulse between the trachea and the sternocleidomastoid muscle or the neck muscle on the outside in that valley for no more than 10 seconds. Moderate pressure, and if you cannot find a pulse on one side, check the other side for no more than 10 seconds to confirm no pulse. If no pulse, we're gonna move, start right into CPR. The reason I like to check both sides of the, of the neck is because we don't know what kind of chronic pathology this, this patient has. Maybe they have some already existing uh, occlusions that are in the, the carotid artery restricting blood flow and they've lived with that for some time. If that's the case, they may have a pulse but you just can't feel it on one side. So check the other side and see if they have a pulse there. And, and really I believe that having to move from one side of the, uh, of the body to another side is just excessive movement. I think that, that if you're trained right, you'll be in good balance you'll be careful and you'll be able to successfully check the carotid artery from one side to the other without crushing the person's neck or hurting the patient more. I hope this helps. Thanks for the question and there's the answer. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me, royonrescue at gmail.com. I'd love to hear your comments and we'll take it the next step further. Have a good day, keep on rescuing, and until next time, bye-bye.